Hello and welcome to the Bootstrapping Without Boots tutorial on using a site builder program. Specifically, I'm going to talk about websites tonight, which is GoDaddy site builder program. Um, in order to get started using this, you just go to the Bootstrapping Without Boots site, click on links, scroll down to where it says site builders, and once you click on that, it's going to take you to the GoDaddy webpage where you can uh, purchase your website tonight program. For this particular tutorial, I only purchased uh, one month subscription of the 10 page deluxe website option that they have here that's $8.99 per month I just uh, purchased that added it to my cart and went through the process of uh, paying for it and then I log into my GoDaddy account and when I do that I can come over here to the left hand side click on website tonight and it takes me into this panel where um, if you haven't set up the account it will say new account if you've already set it up you'll see the name of the domain that you set it up on and then you will click launch and that will open up the website tonight program when I first logged into website tonight I chose the option to just use a pre-built site so I just wanted to show how easy it is to purchase the um, account and then just get it set up this is taking um, only a couple of minutes to do I chose the category of business I'll choose the group of general business and then when it asks to focus I'll focus on small business if I wanted to preview what the site is going to look like I can click where it says preview site and it opens up a new site and that new site gives me a general overview of what the page will look like before I've added any text or anything to it. I can click where it says change template if I wanted to change the template to another color scheme or another template from the one that they already currently have available in the pre-built site. So I would go back to the dashboard. I've clicked where it says change the template and it's going to give me a whole um, host of options of templates to choose from. If I look over here on the left it asks me to select my design I can choose a different color. I can um, look according to category, and they have uh, over 342 templates and a variety of different color schemes that you can choose from. But I'm going to show you how simple it is just to 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 go with what you already have and just um, and and do it fairly quickly, literally in less than five minutes. So uh, I'm just going with a pre-built site that they've already built for me, and I'm going to click where it says Work My Site. When I do that, then it's going to open up a screen that lets me work on the particulars of my site. So it has like an advertisement. If I wanted to read this, it'll talk about the, the favorite things and, and uh, you know, some other things about how to design the site. So I'm going to click don't show this message again because I don't really need to see this because I've used website tonight before and I know of some of its tools. So one of the first things that it does uh, for getting started here, it's going to ask me some questions about my site. And I can just enter in all the information um, that I want for each of these things here. So I can design my page, I can add a page, and I can upload files and images. So I'm going to start with designing my page. Because this site was already pre-built for me, I can leave things the way that they are. The only thing I would need to do is click inside of the boxes to change the information so that it relates specifically to my company. So just for brevity's sake, I'm just going to click up in the uh, top header there. I'm going to change the header to my company name and just um, click in there and make that change and save it and to show how simple and easy this is I can click preview to preview the changes that I made it's gonna open up in a new uh, in a new page it's gonna show me the changes that I've made here and if I agree with those changes I can go back into my website tonight program and then just click publish and once I do that I've pretty much published uh, my website. It's going to ask me these options of if I want to publish the website and if I want to back it up prior to publishing. Um, I'll do that just for the purposes of this tutorial because you know you never know what might happen so I'll back up a copy of it. It's going to take me through the process of showing me all the different things that it's doing to my account as it's publishing and then it gives me a message that says that it's complete and I can click on view site and it'll take me to my site at my well, it would have taken me to my domain. <laughs> what it's actually saying now is that if you see where it says when you're finished publishing, it could take up to 24 to 48 hours. I've worked with GoDaddy. It normally never takes that long, but I'll be back shortly to show you how you can do more customizing to your page. 